another amazing video that I have for you. Of course, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I honestly so appreciate it as my main objective is to empower, to inspire, and to share knowledge with all of you. Also, check me out on Instagram down here. I literally post daily pictures and videos on fashion, makeup, wigs, and all the upcoming videos that I will be making so you won't miss anything. With that, hit the subscribe button down here as well as the little bell so you are notified when I post videos every single week. Now, let's talk about this look that I have for you from divatrust.com. All the links are down below, including coupon codes. So go get those coupons, get some wigs, and add some makeup, including the, the look for this is this amazing party girl palette. Isn't this fun? These colors are so great, and honestly, this whole palette right here was like $2.99. Ladies, I mean really, $2.99, such a great deal. And honestly, I was super excited to get this because I am in love generally with all these really fun bright colors. And I, with this wig right here, I really was like, you know, what would really make this pop really crazy? This super platinum, almost like white beach, beach blonde. So I absolutely love this. I, um, of course, most of this makeup is from divatrust.com. Um, like I said, all the links are down below. So let's just get into it and let me know what you think about it. And here we go. All right, using a stick foundation, which all of these products, except for my eyeliner, is from divatrust.com. So this is really great. Of course, using a very supple beauty blender. That I actually did from Amazon. All the links are down below. And then just patting it right into my face. That HD foundation was in the color of light. And just patting it all on in per usual. Looks pretty good. Now I'm using from Ruby Kisses their concealer. Just of course using it in the normal places. This has like an interesting brush. You can just kind of squeeze it out on my forehead, over my nose, and of course under the eyes, sometimes under my chin, I do do that. And again, using that beauty blender and just going over it and patting it in ultimately just flawlessly into your skin. Like honestly, I cannot never say enough about the beauty blender, about how gorgeous it makes my skin look. I love it over the brush, hands down. But I know a lot of people love the brush. So using this flawless powder right here, it's actually in that banana, it's supposed to be a brightening powder. And I always find the banana powder is way too yellow for me. You can clearly see, it just isn't the right tone for me, but it actually isn't too bad. So you guys know me and my bronzer, I'm gonna bronze the heck out of it. It's actually kind of crazy, like my face looks super bronze, like almost crazy, like when I'm looking at this, like oh my god, I'm like, that's a lot of bronzer, Carly. But it all evens out because I'm gonna be using the Beauty Blender back over the parts to kind of smooth it out or fade it out, whatever I need to do just like to fix it. So literally the bronzer you just go over and over and over and then fix it with the Beauty Blender with that excess product that it has from the foundation, the concealer, and just making it look great. And then of course for the nose, you can't forget about the nose, using a little bit of a contour right there, just real quick and easy. Um, that's right there, I love, you guys know, hot pink blush. And literally with the hot pink, I just pat it on so lightly, like just patting it on lightly, just like it's kissed on there. This strobe highlighter, so great. Um, I always feel like using my finger on my nose is the best application, and then of course using the brush or a fan brush on the rest is best for me. But the nose definitely needs a finger for some reason. I feel like it really packs it on and just brushing it all over. I mean, is it wrong to be too highlighted? No. Okay, so this Party Girl palette, oh my God, I love it. So you guys know, I absolutely love to put a light eyeshadow on as my base first. So I always put that on my inner and then of course underneath my eyebrow to kind of brighten everything up. Um, so that's always the first step for me and then I'll go right into my eyebrows using my eyebrow brush from Essence. I absolutely love it, it's $1.99, best thing ever. 
This one I'm gonna do fast because it's the Misfit Eyebrow. The next one I'm just gonna slow down just a little bit because it's the Good Eyebrow. Let's showcase the good one. So using the product and literally just doing all the steps that I normally do with creating the eyebrow and getting that peak. Yeah. Eyebrows so sharp it could cut you. Remember that. Watch out, people. Okay, so I love this kind of seafoam greeny color. So definitely using that C brush, which as you know from my videos, my favorite brush from e.l.f. Most of these brushes are all from e.l.f. So just kind of like using that seafoam like right there and like making it pop. And then I'm gonna go in with the blue. Oh yeah, actually that color too. So that's actually right next to it. So just like a deeper seafoam, like why not? Why not just get it in there? I love it. So now that's actually a morph brush right there using that dark blue. Now, I probably would have, like, as when I was doing it, I'm like, probably should have used my C brush, but I just used the C brush, so I'm trying to be a little bit more adventurous with using different brushes. So I'm putting it on and realizing I need more. So this actually an e.l.f. brush right there that is, I don't actually know what it is, but it has a much firmer and shorter brush, and I'm just packing that blue in my crease, as you can see. So just packing it in, really getting that dramatic blue. I really want it like super concentrated right there. And it looks pretty good, just fading it in there. And then I'm next gonna take, that's another morph brush. So I'm taking it with that sea foam and kind of blending it out to make sure I get that sea foam up and then also blending that blue because it was kind of a dramatic line with that other brush. So just kind of making it like, honestly, you just kind of go over and over. As I say, blending is cardio exercise and that is absolutely true. So you just, you can never blend too much, I don't think. So using that sea foam blue underneath my eye, I love to use a different color or a color of my palette underneath my eye. This is one of my most favorite eyeliners right here from Essence again. It is um, very black. I feel like the blackest. Definitely check out my eyeliner video. I'll leave the link down below for that. I did a whole tutorial actually on how I did my eyebrows and my eyeliner. So just check both of those out and then let me know if there's any other videos that you would like me to make of what I do because I'm happy to make anything. Because life is all about having fun and sharing information and empowering other people to continue and be great and do great things, right? So again, eyeliner, just doing what I do with it and getting it out. So I absolutely love, like this is kind of like an aqua blue-green eyeliner. Again, I love blues, I love aquas, so anytime I can be like, yeah, let's use a blue eyeliner, I'm probably going to do it. So using that blue aqua eyeliner, and then just, honestly, I just love it. Glue those eyelashes real quick, let them sit for like two minutes, use that mascara, um, putting that on, and of course using as well as a lip product right before I put those eyelashes on. I'm letting the eyelashes dry for like two minutes. So. The one thing I'll tell you about the Ardell's is they're not long enough for my eyes. Like they're just a little too short. And that's my only qualm with these. It would be like really great if they were just like a quarter inch longer. They would like fit my eye. And here I'm like trying to like maneuver it and I'm realizing it's a little too short. But I definitely love the idea of having blue eyelashes. I mean, could that be wrong? No, not with this look it's not. Oh, so good. Take me to the sea. I mean, really, how much fun is this look for literally $2.99? So great, and honestly, I love it. Like I said, I love blues and greens, and I love bright colors, and of course, like a light purple lip is always like my signature look, and it's almost like a blue purple. I really love it. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, like I mentioned, this is all from divatrust.com. The coupons are down below, including the link, so go check it out. Let me know if you have this palette or any of these products from Kiss or the Broadway or any of the Ruby Kisses. Let me know if you have any of them, if you experiment know about it and of course this wig I did a review on it I'll leave the link up here and also how I played with the root to make it a little bit more natural looking versus like the super platinum so um, thank you all for watching stopping by subscribing leaving me a comment like I said I love hearing from you check me out on Instagram down here also
also a great way for you to reach out to me. So send me your pictures of wigs, makeup, what you're up to. So I really appreciate each and every single one of you. I really do, because remember, it is my mission to help every single one of you know it is your right to be as fabulous as you want to be. So you just do you. So again, thank you and we